My name is Lanif Whitehead. I play inside linebacker at Athens Academy. Check me out at dognation.com. My family loves him. My daughter dressed up as him as Halloween, you know, as a football player, number four. Athens Academy. So, like, he's sort of a rock star on this camp. It's just like a lot of these kids are, um, but he just can do it all. He loves to act, you know, he, he's great. He's a great thrower. You know, runs track. If he wanted to run the 100, 200, he would be great at that. The main thing that I like about Lanith is the way he carries himself. You know, I just think he does a very good job of representing himself, the school, and his family. I've seen him throw 67 feet, 11 inches, I believe it was, in the shot put. You know, I've seen, I saw him squat 500 pounds two weeks ago when we maxed. I've seen him bench press 350 pounds, you know, and so um, then he runs a 4-5. You know, and so he does a lot of athletic things. He's just very explosive, um, very light on his feet to be as big as he is. He's 6'2", 235, and, you know, and, and moves well. Certain reason why, why do you want number four? Um, I came in eighth grade, and two wasn't available. That was my favorite number. So I was like, it would just be double what you used to be. Then I got four and kind of stuck with it. What did the Georgia offer mean? Have you always wanted... I guess you grew up in Morgan County, right? Yes. Have you always wanted to, thought about being a Bulldog? What did that mean to you? Um, you know, in my early life, I wasn't, I mean, I watched Georgia because, you know, I was in 30 minutes away. But uh, I was just that big of a fanatic fan. Um, but as I got older, I started, you know, respect the game, and I like Georgia. So, um, but since high school, I've been, I've been wanting that UG offer. So it was big, big for me. Is that almost a validation to some extent? Yeah, I can say that, yes. Everybody tells me that. Mm -hmm. In the state of Georgia, you know you're good when this the mm -hmm. school offers you. Yes. Um, how do they recruit you, and what do you feel about the fit there right now with Georgia? Um, I recruit me at linebacker, and I talk a good bit with uh, Coach Schumann. Um, you know, I went to most of the games last year and the year before. Um, and the linebacker situation is pretty, it's a pretty deep depth chart. You have about, uh, I think, either seven or eight is what we're talking about. But, um... He always tells me that his biggest philosophy is like uh, giving a kid opportunity. He said, you know, at practice you will always get a chance to uh, prove prove your worth. So I mean, you go into practice in the spring, you show out for the first few days, you can easily get in and get first team reps, and they want to see how you react with that. So you know, they're stacked at inside linebacker. You can see that. Mm -hmm. You go to a practice, you can see Nicobe, you can see Tay, you can see Quay, you can see Channing. Exactly. You can see Monty. But they're only going to offer a few dudes at inside linebacker this year. Do you get the sense that you've made the cut, so to speak, where they're only going to offer a few guys, and now you're one of those guys? Um, I'm very, like, at the beginning, I really didn't think much about it. Like, I didn't think, they're like, oh, they, don't take, they can only take, like, two inside linebackers or so, whatever, how many number it is. Um, I never really sat there and thought about that. I just kind of felt like I finally got the offer. So it wasn't just that. But now that I sit here and think about it, and I, other people tell me about it, I'm like, okay. So you were you were good enough to get the offer from Georgia at inside back. Are they going to be in it to the end for you? Are they a strong contender? Can we just just kind of easily call it that? They're going to be a big contender for you going forward. Yes. Why? Um, you know, it's a great program. I have a good uh, connection with the coaches. Um, you know, I like the way they flow with the practice. It's a it's a lot like ours. You know, it's a high tempo. We all they're always moving. So I mean, I feel like I can adapt to that uh, pretty easily. Um, the lifting program is nice, and I like to lift, so. Which other schools, if I'm going to portray this thought for you accurately, which other schools are really in it for you right now? Um, that I have offers from? Yeah. I'll have to say uh, UGA, Oklahoma, um, really all, Oklahoma, Tennessee, and South Carolina. Those are the schools. Mm -hmm. Now, you kind of caught yourself a little bit that you have offers from. Is there a school out there that you want an offer from that would get into your wheelhouse a little bit? Uh, yes, I would say uh, Clemson, for sure. For sure. That would be Clemson and Auburn. Do you have a timeline? Some guys, you don't have to, but some guys say, my grandmother's birthday, my birthday, my mama's birthday, I want to get this done before my senior year so I'm not a distraction to winning a ring. These are all very valid reasons. Do you have any reasons like that or any sort of thinking like that? Um, not necessarily. I think I want to go through my whole recruiting process, you know, um, see what schools I like, get a feel for each school that I have interest in, and then make my decision. So hopefully this time, this summer. 
this summer? Yes. You see yourself committed before September? Yes. Actually, I picked up on a uh, shot put when I was about nine or ten. Uh, I was doing a rec uh, track in uh, Morgan County, and the coach needed someone just to throw shot put, and I went in. I won by a long shot, so I kind of kept with it. Um, my best throw is 67.3. 67.3, huh? Yes. That's pretty good. Yeah. That's pretty. Is the dream big time college football or is the dream the Reese Hoffa path? What is the dream for you? What's this? Both. Both? Yes. Will you throw the shot put wherever you go in college? Yes, sir. But um, I take this advanced acting class and um, this is where you get to pick like a monologue, is what they call it. And it's a one, uh, one person scene. And I have a scene with another partner that I do. Does that feel like that's your thing? Mm -hmm. Is that the same type of joy you have on a football field, or is it different? Um, it's a little different. I feel like I have to. Uh, it's a certain person I am, you know, outside to everyone. You know, I have to make sure my, uh, my image is maintained. And I feel like um, when when it comes to acting, you can dive into a different character and be someone else. So I like I like that aspect of it.